Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem A2 from Putnam 2003, which is an inequality problem. Let A1 through AN, B1 through BN be non-negative real numbers. Show that the nth root of A1 through AN plus the nth root of B1 through BN is less than or equal to the nth root of A1 plus B1 multiplied by AN plus BN. So as usual, I'm going to go over the thought process behind getting to a solution and then we'll come up with a solution. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in different values of n and see how I can prove this one for n equals 1, 2, 3, and then see if I can extend that to every n. For n equals 1, we have the equality. Both sides are a1 plus b1. Let's look at n equals 2. And as I have repeated in the, several of the videos that I have had in inequalities, anytime I'm trying to solve an inequality, I will make sure that I know what the equality is for that inequality because that helps me know what kinds of inequalities I can use. On the left, I have square root of a, a1, a2 plus b1, b2. On the right, I have square root of a1 plus b1 times a2 plus b2. Okay, so I'm going to prove this inequality. So the first and most natural thing to do would be to square both sides. Everything is non-negative, so we can square them. We get a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus twice root a1, a2, b1, b2 is less than or equal to a1, a2 plus a1, b2 plus a2, b1 plus b1. B2. Simplifying this gives me, so the two terms cancel, uh, gives me 2 square root of a1, a2, b1, b2 is less than or equal to a1, b2 plus a2, b1. And that, if we rewrite that in this form, a1, b2 times a2, b1, square root of that less than or equal to a1, b2, plus a to b1 over 2, that's clearly this, just the AMGM inequality, which we know it is true. Okay, so when does the equality happen now? Equality for AMGM happens when a1, b2 and a2, b1 are the same. In other words, the ratio between a1 and b1 is the same as the ratio between a2 and b2. So the inequality happens when you have the ratios are the same. So that was a motivation for me to divide both sides by something that homogenizes both sides. So let's look at n equals 3 and see how I can use that idea. So cube root of a1, a2, a3 plus cube root of b1, b2, b3. I want to show this is less than or equal to the cube root of a1 plus b1, a2 plus b2, a3 plus b3. So I'm going to divide by something that make this makes this more homogeneous, uh, given the fact that I know the equality is when a1 over b1 is the same as a2 over b2. So I'm going to divide by this side. That gives me cube root of a1, a2, a3 over a1 plus b1, a2 plus b2, a3 plus b3 and then plus cube root of b1, b2, b3 over the same numerator. And I want to show that this sum is less than or equal to 1. Okay, so we want to show this one. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply um, AMGM on these two. That's kind of clear why that would uh, be... Uh, could be helpful. So this is the cube root of the product. So we can write this down as less than or equal to one third a1 over a1 plus b1, a2 over a2 plus b2, and a3 over a3 plus b3. Plus this guy is less than or equal to one third something similar. And when you add these up, you get a1 over a1 plus b1, and then b1 over a1 plus b1. When you add them up, you get 1 here, and then you get two more ones, so we should be able to solve the problem. Okay, how do we do that in general? 
Keep in mind that we divided by a1 plus b1, so that means a1 plus b1 must be non-zero. So we're going to have to take two cases. If a i plus b i is zero for some i, then the product of a1 through a n and the product of b1 through b n and the product of a1 plus b1 all the way to a1 a n plus b n is zero. So the inequality is obviously satisfied. So assume that none of them are zero. So assume a i plus b i is not zero for all i. If that's the case, then we can divide the both sides by product of a i plus b i. So we get product of a i i equals one to n divided by uh, product of a i plus b i i equals one to n. Now we're going to use uh, AMGM on uh, these n terms, n non-negative numbers. This would be less than or equal to 1 over n, the sum of AI over AI plus BI. And then I goes from 1 to n. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other product. So the nth root of product of BI, I equals 1 to n, divided by the product of i equals 1 to n, a i plus b i, that's less than or equal to 1 over n, the sum b i over a i plus b i, i equals 1 to n. Now we're going to add these up, we get the product of a i, i equals 1 to n, divided by the product of a i plus b i, i equals 1 to n plus the nth root of product of b i, i equals 1 to n over product of a i plus b i, i equals 1 to n is less than or equal to. The other side becomes 1 over n, the sum of a i over a i plus b i plus b i over a i plus b i, but that's just 1. And that's i equals 1 to n. 1 over n times n ones, so that side is 1. Now if you multiply by the denominator, we get the nth root of product of a i plus the nth root of product of b i is less than or equal to the nth root of product of a i plus b i, which is exactly what we wanted to prove. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of the videos on my channel. I will see you in the next video.